the most dangerous phrase in language learning. This is the way that we've always done it. This is a really good comment that I got in one of my videos, criticizing how the school system and academia work in general, but specifically in language learning. And it's a very good summary of the problem with, well, of all the problems with language learning uh, today, which is that this is the way we've always done it, is the answer you'll get when you tell people that it's a better way of doing things. Schools and classes and teachers have been doing exactly the same thing for at least 50 years, I would say way longer. And results are appalling, really bad. Most people who go to language classes in college in the US or uh, learning English here in Europe in non-English speaking countries, go to classes for five, 10 years sometimes of English and still can't speak the language, can't understand it in many cases. Uh, and there's nothing being done to fix this. There's no one, I mean, apart from me, it's no one trying to come up with different ways of doing it. Uh, you get all this, and, and, and this happens a lot with native English teachers as well. English teachers who are native speakers. They go to the English teacher course, and they learn to be a teacher, they get, basically they they taught how to be a teacher by people who did the same thing before them, who were also taught by people who did the same thing before them, perpetuating the same uh, ineffective methods. And they think they know because, well, first of all, they need to speak us, so they, of course they know more than you. Um, and then because they've got a paper that says they're teachers, then they think they know way better than you. And this applies also to people who study uh, linguistics, people go to universities study linguistics, study uh, pedagogy, teaching, anything, degrees in education, all that stuff. It's, it's the same thing. It's people, it's the blind leading the blind. It's people teaching the same useless methods to other people who want to become teachers, who then will also be teaching the same useless methods to Basically, there's no innovation, there's no experimenting, it's just the same thing over and over again, despite, despite the terrible results. And this is the way we've always done it. Sounds very simplistic, but it's the truth. They phrase it in a different way, but that's, what it, but that's what they say. The science is there, just trust the science. Okay, how many languages do you actually speak? Well, one and a half, maybe a little Spanish. Okay, um, how many of your students actually become fluent? And how long does it take them to become fluent? Uh, most of them end up in a B1, B2 level after 10 years. Okay, and not even that. Most of them, A1, B2 after a decade of English classes. You yourself been living in Spain for 10 years, teaching English, and still are like A2-ish in, in Spanish. And these are the people who think of themselves in the infinite arrogance they think of, of themselves as the ultimate experts in language learning because they've got their degrees and they've got their diplomas and the, and the certificates and all that. But the actual the track record is there. There's no, most people fail with the system. And even those who succeed, it's because they've been, they've eventually moved to the country to spend time in, in, English speaking countries, or they've been exposed to thousands of hours of content online, or they've been hanging out with English speakers, basically people who have been listening and speaking a lot outside the classroom. Classroom and grammar book system doesn't work. It simply doesn't work on its own. It works if you combine it with a bunch of other stuff. But then again, if you just do the other, the other stuff without the classes, it will still work. So does the classroom system really work? No, but they keep doing it. And they keep they keep doing it and they will keep doing it endlessly because that's first of all, because of stubborn arrogance of just, this is the way we've been doing it. And this is the way it should be done because we know better than you. That's 
that's one reason, right? They don't want to even think that they might be wrong. But there's also a huge grift. They, every year, billions are spent in language education. And uh, a lot of people, a lot of people's jobs depend on that. People who are not talented for anything else, they don't really have any real world skills. They've got some useless degree, they've got student debt, uh, and they need jobs and teaching English is the only thing they do, they can do because they are, apart from being a Starbucks barista or something. So, uh, yeah, you need to keep all those people employed. So teaching English like that works for them to keep, <laughs> keep themselves employed, right? And, and for the people who give all those people jobs, you know, the people in charge, because it wouldn't, it wouldn't be very popular to fire all those people and instead uh, just the first day you give the students a plan, okay, you're going to, this year you're going to watch this many films, read all these books in English, uh, and listen and repeat and shadow all these sentences, and go home and do, on, do this. And uh, you, could even, you could even do it online, like a course like mine, like it costs, <laughs> you don't even have to hire me, like you, you make something similar, and it costs like, one euro, but less than one euro per person, a, a year per student, a year to have a website where kids can go in, watch some videos, uh, listen and repeat a few phrases daily, an hour a day, and by the time they're 10, they're all fluent in English. By the time they're 20, they're probably all fluent in English, French and German, or maybe another language if they want, if you did it like this. This is how you fix the education system, but they won't do it because again, uh, we've got a lot of people leeching off the system, uh, talentless people who need jobs, and you need to, you need all of them, but they all vote, so you need to have them employed. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's all a huge, it's partially just arrogance and incompetence, but it's also a huge grift. But uh, this is the way that we've always done it, it's going to be the way until people open their eyes and start, more and more people start getting results with systems like mine. Uh, this is what the education system is going to be saying. Even, even if in 20 years, like, half the population is using my system, or similar, I don't have all the answers to everything, but yeah, something, like, things work, the memorizing the mnemonics, and they're mostly listening and speaking and shadowing, and they become fluent in several languages. The education system will still resist and they'll still find ways to dis try to discredit it and even if they are not getting any results still it, it will always be like that it's all a huge it, it's all a huge scam if you ask me <laughs>